Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is my simplified wash day routine. Let's get started. So for the most part, I deep condition every single wash day and I like to apply my deep conditioner on dry or old hair. This way, I'm simply dually using it as my deep conditioner and as a pre-pool. This step alone cuts down a significant amount of my wash day time. I work in small to medium sized sections, detangle, and then twist up the hair. I allow my deep conditioner to sit on my hair roughly for about 30 to 45 minutes, but realistically speaking, it just depends on how good the show is that I'm watching. I might need a few extra minutes. However, if I am busy, I try not to let it surpass two hours. No longer are the days that I let it sit on overnight because that's just overkill. Now, deep conditioning on dry hair is my personal preference because I feel like it allows the product to fully absorb into the hair shaft more. Plus, the lazy part of me just doesn't like re-wetting my hair and I just want to keep it as simple as I possibly can. But do what you feel is best for you. I also make sure to apply deep conditioner to the edges to soften up all the old edge control from the week. Plus, strengthening them edges can't hurt. Edges need lube too. Next, I step into the shower and begin the shampooing process. Now, in the winter months, I always reach for a clarifying shampoo because when it's cold, I protective style more. When my hair is in protective styles, I tend to skip a wash day or two. So a clarifying shampoo will keep my scalp cleaner longer. Sometimes I leave the deep conditioner in while shampooing and sometimes I rinse it out and apply shampoo. This time I left it in. Now I'm a double cleanser. So for the first round of shampoo, my main focus is getting the shampoo at my scalp and using the pads of my fingers to break up all the buildup. Now, as I'm rinsing out my hair, I unravel my twist to get better access to my scalp and I use my fingers to rake through the strands, guiding the product out as I rinse out both the shampoo and the conditioner. Then just repeat. As you can see, I have a wisdom lock too, so I make sure she gets cleansed as well because locks can hold on to build up and even lint and trying to get the lint balls out of your locks is super annoying. So I wash my every wash day. For the second cleanse, again, I'm focusing on the scalp and the strands. Normally I would twist the hair back up, but now that my hair is shorter and it being even from roots to ends, it kind of makes it harder to hold a twist well, especially when I'm shampooing. So I try sometimes, but especially after a fresh trim, it's just pointless. It's going to unravel on its own anyways. When shampooing, I always double cleanse because that second round, the shampoo just lathers even more and it clarifies even better. Plus, I like to make sure I clean up any dirt left behind from the first cleanse. Now, if you think one is enough, that's your business. However, I would advise that you try gently running your fingernail across your scalp. Don't scratch, but check under your nail and see if there's dirt under the fingernail. If there is, I'm just saying, you might want to go in one more time. Lastly, I break out a moisturizing conditioner, which are essential for the winter time. By the way, all the links to the products that I use will be in the description box below, so feel free to purchase with my special link for a special discount. Now, ending with a moisturizing conditioner is super important, especially in the winter time, because with it being so cold, it can be very drying to the hair. Now, the conditioning step is where I tend to detangle the most, even creating sections within the sections with the conditioner so I can further relieve my hair of any knots and tangles. So if I unraveled all my hair in the shampoo process, then this is where I twist it all back up again. Now, I know I just did all those twists. However, I am going to unravel my hair one more time just for the sake of this video so I can show off how bouncy my hair is after rinsing out the conditioner. I know you see it. And I just rinse my hair out with lukewarm water and that's it. This is my simplified wash day routine. I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, please do me a favor, like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. I need you